Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, we are going to show you how you may install our laser beam combiner with two uh, Chinese lasers. One is Saint Smart, second is Ortur on Ortur frame. Let's get started. So to make it done, we need uh, acrylic uh, plate, acrylic mount that is uh, uh, delivered with Ortur frame and the laser mount that's also been used for hooking up the original laser. So it's just a basic uh, procedure. We use uh, screws that uh, are delivered in the package and uh, we fix them. Okay, everything's ready and let's put it on the on the carriage or portal we call it portal actually so four screws here okay everything's ready and now we can uh, put our uh, laser beam combiner so the second part is installed on the back side and we will hook it as you can see it takes like a few minutes and do not worry that our installation is not heavy it's only uh, two pounds with both lasers so it can actually carry it and shouldn't be any problems but on high speed you might see some vibrations and waves on engraving so we don't suggest you using speed more than 500 uh, millimeters per minute that's actually laser beam combiner is better to use for uh, laser cutting because two different lasers might have different PWM signal so grayscale will not be that that accurate just because they have different uh, different PWM so now it's ready you see that uh, we mount it to the back and now we can simply put it and uh, then we need to fix it also keep in mind that uh, the focal range uh, from the laser is uh, fixed so we have a g7 lens here or you can use G g8 and here on auto we use default lens so this is our mirror and our beam splitter you know uh, we made a video showing how you can add both lasers on our laser beam combiner system Okay, everything's ready. Now we need to focus both lasers. Our basic principle with, uh, you may use digital microscope or uh, listen and once you hear the beep noise, that means that you are in focus. In our installation, we're using our dynamic PWM. The thing is that you can adjust power with a potentiometer here. And let me show you what we have on our machine. So uh, we turned it on on minimum power and you can hear the beep uh, noise uh, and uh, also you can, in, in goggles you'll see that the laser beam spot is very very tiny, it's probably 120 on 120 microns, so yeah, and you can hear the, the beep sound, so it means that the laser is an optimal Focus. And you can also draw different lines on Lightburn. They have a tool that allows you to move laser up and down and draw different lines and then uh, the thinnest will be the best focus. Okay, we're almost ready. We're using painted uh, black uh, card. We have a detailed uh, video and detailed guide how you can do business cards uh, using these painted uh, cards. They call it anodized, but actually they are painted. Okay, we are ready to get started. We were using Lightburn uh, software and the parameters that we're using 300 millimeters per minute and 80% uh, power. Okay, let's see what we have. Don't forget to wear goggles all the time you operate the laser. We usually suggest uh, using OD4, OD5, red or black. Oh, sorry, red or green uh, goggles. Yeah, you can see that it does pretty well. And you, you may also engrave on different 
metallic surfaces like titanium, steel, stainless steel, and also anodized aluminum. Okay, a few more seconds and we'll be ready. So as you, you can see, it very, it's very easy to install, to upgrade. So now you have double power, you combine the um, power of two lasers and that's, that's a good solution for primarily laser cutting. Okay, let me show you what we've got here. Hello world, that's well done. Okay, next we will add this laser beam combiner to a DIY engraving frame working size 65 on 50 centimeters. Okay, so this is our uh, DIY engraving frame with MANA board uh, and the latest GRBL uh, firmware. So this particular model has only two drivers, so two stepper motors. You, there are also different models where you have three and uh, yeah, we're pretty much ready to to get started okay the the thing is that there is a plate uh, that's here and we need just to put the laser uh, to that plate so it's not a big deal but uh, it'll take some some time and patience so there are only two screws that you need to uh, to use and to fix this uh, laser beam combiner. Also, we suggest you to use our air nozzle version one if you want to do laser cutting. It's also possible to make it yourself. We have a detailed guide on our website how to make your own DIY air nozzle and air assist and then you'll, you'll do uh, laser cutting much, much better. It takes a little bit more time than with Orthur because a little bit different construction frame, but, uh, but you can do that in like five minutes. Okay, everything's ready and now we'll do a demo engraving. Let's keep in mind that for this model uh, you need a uh, lifting table uh, because there is no uh, Z axis to adjust the height, so we suggest you using this uh, lifting table to move your piece uh, up and down. Okay, finally everything's ready and let's engrave endurance. Uh, we're using the light burn again and the same parameters. For, well, a little bit faster, 400 millimeters per minute and 80% uh, power. So, looks pretty good. Alright, everything's ready. We made a few more. Um, cards. Looks awesome. What do you think? Okay, and let's install on the final one, CNC 3018. Okay, to install on Saint Smart Genmitsu 3018 Pro CNC machine, we need uh, our lasers and this 3D printed mount. You can find it on our Thingiverse page. Okay, for this installation we need to add our metallic L mount. We offer them on our endurance-laser.com uh, online store and we have put uh, let me show you, uh, this mount, we, we will call it special mount for CNC uh, router on our Thingiverse and okay, what's, what's we're gonna do next? We just Put it over here, and the good thing for this installation that it has that axis, so we can adjust the height of the laser uh, and uh, get it and fo uh, focus it on the best uh, focal range. So this installation is really, really easy, and as you see, this is Saint Smart uh, original laser. 5.5 watt. It has a little bit less than that, but uh, anyway, 
it's okay laser or at least it works <laughs> okay okay we almost done and almost ready we will not uh, show you a laser engraving test for this machine because it it works absolutely the same way uh, we use Lightburn software with the latest firmware uh, GRBL 1.1F uh, or H uh, you may use so uh, yeah now you know how to install our laser beam combiner on all three types of frames including CNC small router uh, you're welcome to visit our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com and if you have any questions, let me know gf at endurancerobots.com. My email and my phone is plus 7916-225-432. WhatsApp, Viber, Telegram, you're welcome to text me anytime. Thank you for watching and enjoy Endurance Laser Combiner Beam. Uh, laser Beam Combiner, sorry. Bye-bye.